gathered again today. Well, something I want to talk about is YouTube. YouTube's been around for a number of years now, and they've really done very well. They've offered a lot of opportunities to a lot of people, and I, for one, am uh, grateful that they are around and doing what they do in such a fine manner. But you know, it's unfortunate, because YouTube still has a lot of negative associations with a lot of people. Maybe it's things they've heard, or certain negative videos they've seen, but uh, I think that uh, I've figured out why, for the most part, it still has a lot of negative associations. You know, it's uh, not extremely popular as far as um, not everybody does it, but uh, just about everybody actually watches the videos. So it still has this underground side to it. You know, it's really only people with the uh, capability and equipment and time and resources, that luxury, that can, you know, afford to uh, crank out the videos. And uh, I'm happy to be one of them. I'm grateful for that. But um, it still is seen as being somewhat deviant. And I've been trying to figure that out. And I think I have it figured out. You know, they say public speaking is a fear that's worse than death for a lot of people. They're afraid on how they're going to sound. They're afraid on how they look. They're afraid of how they're going to be perceived on video. Maybe they just think that they're not photogenic. You know, either am I, but it uh, doesn't stop me. But, um, so they put out these walls, these notions, uh, of, uh, that it's somehow bad, uh, YouTube and making videos, that it's a form of self-expression that is, uh, for some reason should be frowned upon. I don't think this is the best approach. I think that, uh, maybe they're just misinformed. What I think, the reason why they're doing this, or saying this, or sending out this message, is that they're trying to build that wall that protects themselves from their own potential insecurities. So if they say that it's a bad thing, or they give that impression it's a bad thing, what that does is that builds another wall that separates them from ever having to partake in it. It's unfortunate, but, uh, you know, it's, I guess, something that maybe people do uh, when uh, they're confronted with the unknown. So uh, let me know what you think of that. Do you think that one of the reasons why YouTube possibly has some negative associations is because people are insecure in their own feelings about having to make videos or the potential of being on video? Thank you very much. Take care of each other. And I'll see you around. Bye now.